Technology is amazing. Sat-navs, the internet. We live in a world where cars heat our bums. <laughs> You're driving a scumfort, my arse is in Ibiza. And yet, <laughs> every time you open a paper, you read shrieking headlines like this. Robots to replace humans, it all work within 120 years! Who cares? <laughs> a, in 120 years, you'll be dead. <laughs> and B, nobody in this country likes their job. <laughs> We're British. <laughs> What's the American dream? If I work hard, I can be anyone. British dream? Lying. <laughs> if I hit snooze, I can get 15 minutes of naughty sleep. <laughs> Every one of you has put in an Oscar-winning performance to get a day off work. I can't come in today. <laughs> my grandfather has died. <laughs> yes, my third grandfather. <laughs> You're very kind. This could be amazing. If robots are working for us, think of all the shit we won't have to put up with in the office. No bosses, no rotors, no team bonding, no more having to buy cakes because it's your birthday. <laughs> when did that become a rule? It's your special day, and you have to give people you don't like treats. <laughs> and they're never grateful. Is it vegan? Is it gluten-free? <laughs> Is it fair trade? It's a fucking cake, Sharon. <laughs> and I don't want to be rude, but you're clearly familiar. <laughs> and I know, I know there'll be people going, actually, I really love my job, it defines me. And you're like, you're going to be dead! <laughs> but if by some miracle you live until you're 160, think about it. You like your job now. Think how amazing the world's going to be in 120 years' time. There'll be, I don't know, teleportation. Mini David Attenborough's. <laughs> flying bacon sandwiches. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, surely that's better than admin. Like, anyone's going to be in 2138. I like jetpacks, but this whole punch isn't going to empty itself. <laughs> We won't even have hole punches in the future. You'd have a little robot that jumps on your desk and just goes, huh. <laughs> and yes, that's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> I've got it. Yeah. Do you want anything stapled? I'm all right, actually. <laughs> Robots could be amazing for us. Think of the current strain on doctors, nurses, teachers, the police. Maybe, in the future, all this could improve their lives. But no-one ever talks like that. It's always, they're going to take our jobs. We're giving them too much power. What if they rise up and kill us? <laughs> I mean, Christ, look at this shrieking headline. Self-driving cars are already deciding who to kill. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> Self-driving cars will remove human error and save thousands of lives. But on the rare, 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 rare occasion that a crash is unavoidable, what they do, they analyse the road, they go, oh, look, there's young babies over there, there's old people, and they hit the old people instead. <laughs> right? That's what they do. And yet I can still feel pensioners going, they're going to kill us, they're not! They're not going to be hunting old people. <laughs> You're not going to get Herbie revving his engine outside, outside Mecca Bingo. <laughs> I smell knitting. <laughs> Let me hole punch them. <laughs> Mind you, most British people aren't worried about being killed by a Tesla. They've got other ideas. Brits say you would spend time commuting in driverless cars having sex. <laughs> Only in this country. <laughs> Behold, the self drive 5000. Any questions? Can I fuck in it? <laughs> it would be brutal, wouldn't it? Traffic jams are bad enough as it is without watching British people <laughs> pumping in a Prius. <laughs> that poor car's going to be wiping its windscreen with its own tears. <laughs> I've seen so many things. <laughs> and it's not just cars. We are so stupidly horny. One in five British adults would have sex with a robot. Now, what I love, I can feel the aggression. I can feel the tension they're in, the women are going, men. <laughs> Typical dirty men, always thinking about your dicks. <laughs> to which I say, oh, fuck you. <laughs> you horny witches have been using robots for years, and all you did was snap off its finger. <laughs> you left the rest of him in the shed. <laughs> I'll come back for more when I need it. 
I've seen the devices you keep in your handbags. Some of these things have got fingers on top of fingers. <laughs> these contraptions are treating you like a bowling ball and you want to sit there and judge the fellas? <laughs> For shame. For shame. The sex robot industry is completely insane. I mean, look at this. A sex robot has been given a Scottish accent to make it sound less <laughs> robotic. <laughs> Two words. Andy Murray. <laughs> oh, that's great, nice. Of all... <laughs> of all the accents you could have, French. <laughs> Ooh la la. Yeah. <laughs> Italian. Ciao bella. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking do me! <laughs> Ooh, like that. Right.